Hey guys, and welcome back to the Tutorial Millennial channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create four simple shapes in Illustrator. And first, I am just going to select the rectangle tool, and to make a square, I'm just going to press shift on my keyboard, and then I'm just going to rotate it 45 degrees, and I'm just going to add a circle. I'm just going to again press on the shift tool on my keyboard and make it so that it sort of fits the square and I am just going to make it so it just fits there let's just zoom in a little and clean it up a bit Just hold on, this takes some time. My apologies, maybe this, okay, all right. And then I'm just going to copy it, Control C and then Shift Control V to paste it in the same place. And I'm just going to move it here. And you have this heart shape. I'm just going to um, use the shape builder tool. I'm just going to select them all and put them together. Now you have this heart shape. That's shape number one. And now I'm just going to show you how to do a star shape. So let's just get the ellipse tool and create a circle again. And I'm just going to go to effect. Um, where is it? Distort and transform and pucker and bloat. And you're actually going to select a negative number around this much and just press OK. And now you have this star shape and you can select the bottom and make it longer if you want. I'm just going to make it a little smaller. And just put it there. I'm just going to select Control C, Shift Control V on my keyboard, and you can make this star shape. And now I'm just going to show you how to make a moon. So again, the ellipse tool, and I'm just going to copy and paste that. And I'm going to make this a different color so you can see. Um, the moon shape. So this is the moon. Just put it on top. And I'm just going to select both of them and go to Pathfinder. If you can't find it, it's in Windows. And just click Pathfinder. And I'm just going to select both of them. And minus front. And you have this sort of moon shape. Lastly is this flower shape. Again, the ellipse tool. And I'm just going to create a circle and now I am going to go to effect distort and transform pucker and bloat but the other way like around this much and I'm just going to press OK and I'm going to go to control C and then shift control V to paste it in the same place and I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees and you have this cute flower shape if you want to add um, the circle just press the ellipse tool and just put it in the middle of your flower and that is it super simple i hope this video was helpful don't forget to like comment share and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that if you have any questions just leave it in the comment section down below and i will try my best to answer them all thank you so much for watching bye